Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you the first the first Roundland haul of 2020. So if you're interested to see what I got, then just continue to watch. That's what I like about you. So dangerous. I get this rush. Hi guys, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Juliet and I do three videos a week on all sorts. I do lots of beauty, fashion, lifestyle. That's the kind of thing you're interested in. There is a little subscribe button down here in red somewhere. I would love for you to click that and stick around. It's completely free and entirely up to you. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okie dokies. This year I decided that I'm not going to go and buy things that I don't need. And then I fell into Poundland and spent £28. I have been really careful in what I bought and I will share with you some of these things aren't a pound. So I'll tell you exactly how much each item was. Start with this one. I bought Matt a few things for the gym because if you don't know, my husband is a PT. He's always buying equipment and extra things that can help him because we have a home gym where he trains his clients. So I saw this ab roller i know he doesn't have one and i know that they are more expensive online and i thought this would be really really good for him it was just three pounds they've got an amazing section for fitness this month so if you're looking for anything fitness related they even had clothes not so much in my poundland but i think if you've got a bigger poundland that i've got like the clothing section is it pep and co they did have some nice gym wear in i also got him a yoga block now in this because i've seen them me and matt are also going to start doing some yoga at home because we are both like novices at yoga and i've seen yoga people use these anybody who does yoga if you want to tell me what this does or what it is for that would be amazing but i know they're about 10 pounds on amazon and this was just two pounds so i picked him one up because i thought it's got to come in useful for something up the gym. Now the next item I got him, I'm really happy about, but I'm also a little tiny bit angry because I bought him these off Amazon for Christmas for 11 .99. Lo and behold, they are in the pound shop for two pounds. These are exercise dice and they look incredible so what they are is two dice one is rep amounts and one is the type of exercise throw the dice on the floor and it might say 30 seconds of walking lunges and that's it and you can obviously do that and build a whole exercise workout routine so i think those are really fun really good if you get these they're a bargain also Poundland have also got a massive section on organisation, storage, that kind of thing. If you look at some people, some other people's Poundland hauls, I have definitely seen some people filming in there. I don't do that in mine because I haven't got the most amazing Poundland in all honesty. But I did pick up these. These are like little inserts that go in your drawers. I already have quite a few of these from Ikea and these ones were really nice because they've got little handles on the front and they're also like a grey fabric and I always use these in the drawers. I use them for the boys clothes, for our clothes. These were £2 which I think is cheaper than Ikea as well. So I picked up a pack and there are four in this. It doesn't tell you how big they are. 21 centimetres by 25.5 centimeters and then 10 centimeters deep just in case you need to know oh hold on a second i'm just gonna have to get them out and have a look because the picture doesn't make sense so there are two of this size like, like so and two ah well, these are good. I didn't expect them to be like this. Guys, this is better than I thought. Hold. Hold on to your horses, people. Got a bargain here. So there are two of these, which are like double. They are amazing. So there's two of those and two of those. So like almost, it would be six cubes. That is really good. I'm really impressed with those. If they have any more, I will get some more because I really like that they've got the little handles on as well. So you could put these on like shelves 
and have them as like little drawers as well i really really love those super super impressed with those for two pounds staying on the storage kind of section i bought myself some more tupperwares now there are a couple of bits of plastic in here and i appreciate that i know that a lot of people don't like plastic or waste but it is sensible purchasing because i had a soup maker for christmas and so i wanted to get some of these so i can pack my soups off so these will be utilized don't worry they're not going to be used and thrown away i am really looking forward to making and freezing a lot of soup so i bought a pack of those I also bought myself this double Tupperware. I saw this, I think, on my friend Carly's Poundland haul. And I was like, I'm going to get myself one of those because the big one will be great for a salad and the little one will be great for like snacks and fruit and things like that. Especially now I'm on my eating healthy. And they're pink. I mean, you know. They do a pink one, they do a blue one. I think they possibly did a yellow one as well. So there are the two sizes in here. 1.1 litre and a 500 ml Tupperware. So these are the lock and seal ones as well. Perfect. When I cook dinner, I do enough for me and Matt and then Matt for work and me the next day. So I always need Tupperwares. Mainly because they go to Matt's work and and lastly on the storage section i bought this little basket now i can't believe these were a pound right they're metal they're a lovely size and they did them in white gray and black and the reason i got this is my friend becca she did a video on like toy storage and things like that and she had this really good idea of putting like a, a sucky hook Thing on your tiles and then scooping the toys out of the bath and hanging this on to keep the toys in i think that's a great idea because the amount of things i've bought for bath storage just it never works and it does feel like it's coated of some kind so i'm hoping it wouldn't rust we will see but i thought that was a brilliant idea so thank you for that becca i've stole it and um I'm going to be doing that i also bought myself a pop-up laundry storage bag in grey they also had it in black i do have two big washing baskets but i have that much washing that they just tend to always be full so i thought this was great to have to put by the side of my um, laundry bin upstairs so that i can use that to carry washing up and down the stairs and it's a little smaller so it doesn't look like such a monstrosity on my landing i'm always worried about having my like the laundry basket that I carry up and downstairs, I'm always wary of having that on the landing because it's got like rope handles and me and my like worry mum mode, I think, oh my gosh, Lucas or Leo is gonna come running across the landing at the foot caught in the rope handle and <clears throat> go flying down the stairs. So I've got this one, <laughs> pound. <laughs> got some salt, that they need to know. Also picked up some toiletries. I just picked up Matt some Shaw me some dove and then i also bought some satin care shaving foam because i just thought this would be really good for like when you go on holiday because it's nice and small so yeah i picked that up as well also in the toiletry slash beauty oil i've picked this up you know how they always have um like branded makeup in there in these little packets i found this this is a maybelline python metallic lip kit and it looked so, so cool for a pound. I did think to myself, you know, this is the kind of thing you can keep in your drawer. I don't know, fancy dress or Halloween or just something really different. And then the last few bits were just on the stationery aisle. I picked up some things for the boys just to, just for colouring for their craft drawer and things. First of all, I bought them these twistable crayons. These are amazing. I used to have the Crayola ones, which have been either broke or ran out. Um, but they were like three or four pounds. These were just a pound for eight. So I got them a pack each so they can't fight over colours. And yeah, I just thought those were so, so good for a pound. I also got Lucas some... Oh, I've broken it. Some jumbo, like chunky wax crayons. He's loving colouring in at the moment, and these are perfect for his little hands. So you get 16 in there for a pound. I think they are so good. Along with drawing pads. Again, I saw these on my friend Carly's Poundland haul the other day, and I just thought they were so good. There's 80 pages in here for a pound. We have got paper in the house, but they have started to bicker a bit about paper. So if they've got their own pad each, then there won't be any arguments. And yeah. 
that was everything i bought from poundland i really hope you enjoyed this haul i was really excited about this one what was your favorite item please let me know as always and if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care bye